Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am a brownie, and as you can obviously very clearly tell, I'm here once again playing some more Pokemon Legends Arceus, because I haven't finished my playthrough yet. I'm once again joined by the magnificent, the legendary Johnny Webb. If I were a trading card, I would be the rarest. I would be mythic rare, super mythic ultra holographic rare, maybe even invisible. <laughs> Possibly also misprinted just to make it extra rare. <laughs> Smudge right on my face. <laughs> Big thumbprint. Make it worth millions. Uh, I don't remember where we are. Um, I'm, I'm lost. We just talked to, I believe, Ingo, and we are headed to the uh, Cornet Highlands. Uh, that was right at the end of the last video. But before we begin, I think Past Abe has uh, something to discuss. Actually, it might it might actually be Past Johnny. I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't remember how to play this game. But uh, before <laughs> before we get to it, take it away, Past Abe and Johnny. Silene. Hello. You look really angry. Like she those always looks eyes, angry, doesn't she? Those brows, man. Holy shit. Those those deep what? angry brows. I don't know why she should look so angry when she can get her hair to look like that. Yeah, actually. Like every day's a good hair day when you can get your that's, hair to do that. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a very good point. I can't do that. <clears throat> well, I guess she's been standing here waiting for us long enough. <laughs> just, just staring blankly at her. Your survey work will take you to the Cornet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. I could tell you current, what perils await. Current rank. What is my current rank? I don't even know what my current rank is. Your current That's rank qualifies question. you to conduct research in the Cornet Highlands. But you will need help from a particular person to survey the ultimately survey sorry survey and quell not survey the i'm just gonna skip that i i fucked that up too much <laughs> <laughs> go good, to good. the training grounds you should find them there wait what hey. are, what are what water what water water what there's wet water in the training grounds what is my rank? And also, I think I can upgrade it. Four. I am a five-star rank. Well, I will be a five-star. Five stars! Woo! You have made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Yay! Yay. Halfway. We're halfway there. They Even though like the last star... Stained my pants. Is... Like, the, more than the amount it takes to go from zero to nine. Yeah. It's exceptionally tough to get and pretty much requires you to uh, finish the entire dex just to get it. Or at least uh, ra 10 rank everyone, nearly. Yeah, it's pretty cray. It's cray town. Pretty cray cray. Pretty cray cray. Shall we do this fight and then leave it off there, perhaps? And then yeah. future future Abe can take it away, possibly by himself, but possibly also with you if we get to do it on a, a day when we're together. Yeah. Cool. So wait, are you fighting this girl? Um, I think I'm fighting him. He kind of looks like... um. He but he was a eaten by a shark. Jacket. Yeah. He may have maybe been not eaten, eaten but by like a he was bear. wrestling. <laughs> he was like, wrestling yeah. a shark. Like and a bear <laughs> together. Shark and NATO and bear NATO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he fought them. Hand to hand, fisty cuffs. And one, obviously, he's still here. Clearly, and they're not. So Warden Ingo serves Sneasler, <laughs> which is a very mm -hmm. interesting name. 
He will guide you to her domain. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am the warden, Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether will whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's have a safe journey to Mount Cornet. All aboard! What? That reference didn't make sense until I, I looked up what he was all about. Yeah, same. Was, I was like, wait, in, what? What the hell is he talking about? He's a bit like me in the fact that he is insane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. In any case, I'm glad you have. I'm glad to have. Good lord, I'm just. Gonna, yeah. I thought I was gonna fight them, but I guess I'm not. So I guess the next step is uh, going to Cornet Highlands. You know what's weird? Why, like, if if the developers knew that they wanted to bring in an old character, <clears throat> like, into this role, like, from a previous Pokemon game, why would they choose Ingo? Like, one that most players, even players of that game, wouldn't even know. Like, isn't that's a weird choice, right? Yeah, he's definitely not what I would consider a fan favorite. But I, well, yeah. I mean, he might be a fan favorite, but, like, he wouldn't be well-known. Yeah, like, they, they dug deep to get Ingo. Like, they could have done, so. like, anyone else that you encountered during your black and white journey. But no, they wanted Ingo. That's Why? That's weird. Maybe they wanted a character who's, like, they could take him out of the time without, like, affecting the... the, the, the uh, Possibly, and without without has, really uh, affecting the story, because <laughs> he's got a counterpart as well. Yeah, he's got a twin in, brother. Yeah, so yeah, uh, maybe that's the reason why they wanted a strong trainer who has some background and some history, but that wouldn't really impact the main lore if they just took him out. That could so be. maybe. I am not sure. It is interesting though. I'm very interested in the fact that they would just pull in characters from other games. Since this game was all about, aside from your character, like the ancestors of other characters. So yeah. That's, it, that's that's an interesting point. That, that was also kind of strange, but cool. Anyway, uh, that's where this portion of the video will end. And uh, future Abe, take it away. Well, I don't remember what we what we said, what we discussed, but I hope it was worth it. <laughs> I think uh, we, we hope it was good for you guys. Yeah, I think we have some side mission here. I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna really worry about them so much, and just kind of go through the main story. I think. Some of the side missions are really cool, and you can explore a bunch of the lore, too, that way. Yeah. But then these videos would be just excruciatingly long for some people. Yeah, that's true. And I prefer, even when I'm doing my own playthroughs, to go through the main story and then explore all that stuff extra. Do that after. Yeah. I am the opposite. I actually like to uh, go through a couple of the main stories and then just once I get to what feels like an appropriate break, then be like, okay, well now, now if this were real life, I'd have some time to explore. So I'll go and explore and do things and then like slowly mission by mission move forward. Because I'm weird like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. So, okay, let's head to the Cor Coronet Highlands. Getting high in the highlands. Good place for it. Literally. Oh no, there's a crack in my screen. Why is it moving away?
Professor. Who probably needs a back brace the way he's walking. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The way he walks, walks like <laughs> the way he walks makes him seem like he's much <laughs> older than he appears. You are my boy. Welcome to the Cornet Highlands. Hmm, because I'm an old man now. I expect you'll find all sorts <laughs> of rock type and ground type Pokemon wandering around these craggy boulder strewn heights. And up there, that's a scary piece of shit. Right beneath the great <laughs> rift in space time is the peak of Mount Cornet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. I was going to say arena. Fascinating stuff. Oh, there's an arena. There is an arena. I like how he just casually mentions that that's a crack in space time. Yeah, just like, like you oh, know. yeah, there's the peak and there's the space time. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. There's the crack in space time. I, I know because I stuck my head in there and uh, I saw my future self. Um. Okay, I I need to relearn these controls. <laughs> Aw. Ah, cute little graveler. Let me just. This I'm graveler's gonna, gonna get wrecked. I'm gonna come over here. And I'm gonna touch your bum. Touch. <laughs> I don't remember what moves anyone has. Energy ball. That probably good. Yeah, that's probably fine. All right, cool. Eat Graveler got rock. <laughs> um, yeah. I say I'm so not what did, gonna uh, waste time and like do side missions and stuff, but then I just go around looking for rocks and shit. I, s <laughs> I sort of missed what Laventon said we were supposed to do there because I was thinking about the rift in space time. Um, I. Hmm. Did I just. Know I, I read it out loud, but I didn't acknowledge it in my brain. I'm pretty sure he just pointed it out and he was like, yep, there it is. Uh, All right, did see. Did he ya. maybe just say, like, try and go there? Was that it? Ursa Luna's a real champ when it comes to digging. Oh, yeah, ride Pokemon. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Ursa Luna is badass. I could technically say Ursa Luna was my first shiny, although it was technically Ursa Ring. <laughs> well, now it's Ursa Luna. Well, yeah, now it's an Ursa Luna. What'd you find me, boy? Yeah, Ursa Luna. Or badass, girl, dude. I don't remember. You said there was a gender. I don't remember what the gender was. Take for treasure. I hope some of these. I almost called them Galarian Pokemon, but uh, Hisuian forms come back soon, like Ursa Luna. I hope Cleaver, so as like well. That. I imagine if they, if their predecessors exist in uh, the upcoming game, Scarlet and Violet, I don't see why their evolutions wouldn't. Maybe not natively, but you could trade them in. That could be as well, too. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you're allowed to do that. Although, it's becoming less and less true that you're able to trade in old guys that aren't really in the region. Yeah. Okay. That was not what I thought it was. Hey, a spirit. I'm going to ignore you. Oh. Ah. going to ignore the little spirit? Oh, oh. God. <laughs> if I sneak past him. <laughs> he won't know. <laughs> he won't see. Okay, he electrocuted me. I was paralyzed. That's why I couldn't dodge roll. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong Pokemon. Man, I do that so often. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Get out of here, guys. Come on. I was just trying to steal your food sources and minerals. <laughs> Well, they don't like that very much. They need their own minerals for, you know, mineral things. But I need... I'm a growing boy. <laughs> They're, like... With a mask. <laughs> Foxy mask. I'm a growing boy, but they don't know that behind this mask. It could be anyone. Wait, did you actually just leave the spirit? Yeah. Huh. I'm pretty sure just I've like, been doing that through this it. whole playthrough, actually. Huh. Uh, oh, gonna... okay then. You guys are scary. Oh, it's starting to snow. 
There's our mm, there's our it's best getting friend. Getting cold and wet out here. Our best friend is over across that bridge. I've never known a man like I've known Ingo, which is technically not true because not only <laughs> not only have I never met him before, I haven't even beat Black and White too. Oh Which really? I think is the game he's in. I don't think he's in Black and White One. Yeah, I think so as well. I think that's correct. I also haven't ever encountered him in Black and White Two. <clears throat> you I didn't look do like all you that stuff. Just thought out. <laughs> 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 like just now. <laughs> the electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. That's a pretty sweet title, though. Lord of the Hollow. Fuck. Oh, yeah. But it's electrical it's discharges. At least are familiar. I've got those sometimes. <laughs> oh. One false step around it could put you in danger. Speaking of electrical discharge, I electrocuted myself the other day. Oh. So, uh... Yeah. That sounds horrible. Don't, uh, don't stick a screwdriver in a, in a, in a, in a socket. In a plug socket. Even if you're trying to unscrew something. Mm -hmm. Work safe, not um, unsafe. Anyway, I would advise to <laughs> disconnect the electricity next time. Yes, I will. I will use scissors and and cut the cord next time before I <laughs> use yeah, scissors. Yeah, be safe, guys. Cut the cord first. <laughs> Must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Electrode, yeah, the irritable piece of shit. <laughs> and one to be frenzied to boot. So true. I don't know. Oh, is this is the mm, this is the guy I don't like? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. <laughs> Take off your pants and bend over. Oh. <laughs> Greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here, in these shorts. I think. I don't know Ooh. what it is. It might be shorts. <laughs> yeah, who knows what those are. What do you say, strange masked suited boy? Um, uh, really? Are both my options no? Hmm, I don't recall that. Looks like it. Maybe another time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, well then, let me tell you that Great Melly's take on this whole situation. Okay, that's definitely not what I meant, but all right. The frenzy of our nobles. Nobles? Noble? Nobles? Hmm. Yeah. See, is he referring plural or am I just dumb and not understanding? Yeah, he's it? talking about all of them. Okay. I think. Nothing other than a mark of almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell that out? Uh, spell out that that's a good thing? Holy shit! I need glasses. <laughs> you must let my lord frenzy as he may, it may, he, whatever. To demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. I feel like I'm struggling because I'm also trying to put on a voice. <laughs> this may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. Holy shicken. Holy shicken is right. What business is it of the galaxy teams, anyway, if Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Right up my asshole. Whoa. What is that any concern of yours, what I do? Really, <laughs> to do us all a favor and slink back to that home in the village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. What a selfish outlook. Look, <laughs> I love his super unimpressed eyes. <laughs> These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it to you want? 
to do Abeth Brownit. I want to Epic name. Press on. Well, it was gonna be Abeth Browneth. Limitations yeah, was close and all enough. that. Yeah. We can thank Zaxus for this name though. Shout out to Zaxus. Cool name. Very well. Zaxus. Tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneezler, Abeth Brownit, you must pass through here. Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon I assume that thing Golbat. that he Go on. That thing he said about safe driving, I think that's probably one of his lines in the older game, in uh, Black 2. I think he does a lot of train references. Yeah, which is really cool, because for those people who know about this character, they're like, yeah, that's awesome. But then everyone else is like, what <laughs> is else? going on? Like me, I'm like, I, I, I'm i pretty sure he's from another game. But what? <laughs> it's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Or I'll watch it for I, I even think when you battle him in town, he says all aboard. It's like, what? Oh, man. This, this scene. Uh, when, uh, uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I just want to point out this scene and how absolutely ridiculous it is. Because around the characters, there's like white splotches and shit. Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even around some of the rocks, too. Yeah. It had, you don't really notice it anywhere else, but definitely in here. I think mostly because I guess it's dark. Very dark, and your characters are very light. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. I missed everything else that he said. I care not to That's come okay. uncoupled. Mm, let me couple. couple they right were talking about how Melly is trying to mess with you guys okay so they were just talking about how melly a bitch yeah yeah exactly gotcha its name escapes me but i remember that it wielded flames only it were here well good thing i have a fire type to light the way but you know we're just gonna ignore that fact <laughs> yeah that's that's not canon yeah <laughs> oh fuck oh it's a crow oh, okay please forgive the unscheduled stop detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. Mm -hmm. but given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Yeah, well, That's a good I idea. feel the nafty for safety. What? It's a Futurama reference. Uh huh. Someone okay. says someone says that they have the need for speed, and then Leela responds with having the nafty for safety. I see. All right. I actually, I, that one. I think it's one of the newer episodes after the movies. Okay, that's why then. Yeah. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Yeah, we're at the lake already. So, just a skip to the left. And uh, do we put the torches up? Is that something he asks us to do? I don't recall. Is some fucking bitch ass poo head put them all down? Yeah, obviously he doesn't have a nafty for safety. Oh. Beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. Well, I'm glad that they didn't make me do it, but I kind of <laughs> also wanted to do it. That would have been a cool way Is to... Is it actually like, brighter now? I... Don't think so. I think they may have <laughs> oh. color swatched the walls a bit, but I don't really think so. Where the fuck did he go? He just peaced out. You're on your own now, boy. Yeah, as you do when you put the torches back, I guess. Of course. Not the way out. Wanted to see what was there. Oh. But is the way to happiness there? Is, a, is that a gibble that I saw there? It was a gibble. Yeah. Might be good to get a gibble. 
Oh, Gibble! I have a shiny one. Actually, I have two. Did I trade one of them to you? I think I did. Uh, I don't think so. I've got a bunch from Calm Day anyway. Uh, specifically in this game, I mean, but yeah. Maybe you did. Yeah, maybe you did. I'll have to double check. I haven't Ooh. really played this game for a while. Oh. I also oh. haven't played this game for a while, and I've really wanted to, but, like, I don't... I don't want to play this without recording it. And I was like, you know what? I had so much fun playing with Johnny. I want to do it again. There's a quick option for balls, isn't there? I don't remember yeah. how this game works. Um, you can swap your Pokemon and items. I think just like you do in the overworld when you're not in a battle. I'm pretty right. sure it's the same button. I just don't remember what button that is. Oh, Badoo, easy. Badoo. That was an easy gibble. It was an easy gibble. It's new. It's new and improved. Hell yeah. See you later, Golbat. <laughs> said see you later, not Christ. follow me. <laughs> For a Pokemon that's really fast, it's struggling to keep up with you. Like, slightly jogging. Yeah. <laughs> Just keeping up like a casual stride. All right, we're out of it's this like cave. Nonchalantly running. Nonchalantly, <laughs> exactly. Finally, we're out. Where did you come from? With me the whole time? <laughs> Just wait, wait my paw. Professor oh. Lavington told me how you fell to this land from the sky. Are you from space? Are you my dad? Oh, yeah. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. That's probably why you never heard of it. <laughs> like. <laughs> seems valid, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Parl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. Still, I wonder what my true purpose is. Ah. Now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. And I... Is this where... Fuck. I don't... Where am I? I'm totally lost as to where I am now. Sorry, I was expecting to be out uh, where you could set up your next camp. I guess that's not the case. Oh, I think that's not too far. Fuck you, gold duck. But I don't remember exactly dust. where it is. Peace out. Actually, there is a scary guy over here, isn't there? Oh, someone using Swift on me. There you are. Hello. Hey, there's a scary guy. Ow! He threw me into a tree. He knows all the strats. I don't want his strats. Might come back and fight him later, but right now... Yeah, dude. Now I yeah. don't. All right. Um... Yeah. Whoops. There's the pause button. How do I pause this game? I'm trying to kill you. There we go. Oh, <laughs> good place to pause. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's where we're going to end it for this episode. Right before I get poisoned and die. But uh, I well, think yeah, likely. we were just about to enter another cave, so we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll we'll riddle that cave around next time. Sounds like a plan. A good plan, if you ask me. I actually like that cave that we're going into. I do, too. It's, it's like pretty interesting. Small, but it's kind of cool. It's small, yeah. but it's very, very interesting. Very uh, scenic, I guess. Atmospheric. Say spheric or loose spheric. 
<laughs> it's ve it's spherical inside. <laughs> no, I said atmospheric. Atmospheric. Okay. I think I think it's the Discord. spherical cave. Discord is just being weird. <laughs> it's the spheric cave. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we'll see you next time in the spheric cave. <laughs> Bye. Bye.